In this video, we have given an equation that is x minus a into x minus b minus 1 is equal to 0, where b is greater than a and we have to find the location of the roots of this equation from the four options given. Option A is both roots in A to B. Option B is both roots in minus infinity to A. Option C is both roots in B to infinity. And option D is one root in minus infinity to A and the other in B to plus infinity. So, I will solve this problem by two method. One is graphical method and second is numerical method. So the method one that is graphical method and easier method is here we have x minus a into x minus b minus one is equal to zero. Now if we take fx is equal to x minus a into x minus b minus 1 then in each option we have either a or b so here if we find f of a then f of a will be a minus a times a minus b minus 1 it will be minus 1 and minus 1 is a negative so we can say that f of a is less than 0 and now if we try to find f of b then we get b minus a times b minus b minus 1 and here also b minus b will be 0 so we get minus 1 and here also minus 1 is negative so f of b is less than 0 and now if we draw the graph of fx then fx will be quadratic equation so the graph will be parabola so it will be graph of y is equal to fx and we know that fa is negative and also fb is negative. So if the graph of quadratic equation cut x axis at alpha and beta then between alpha and beta fx is negative and we have fa negative. So a lies somewhere between alpha and beta and we have also fb negative. So b also lies between alpha and beta and we know that b is greater than a. So b will be in the right of a on the x-axis and here we have minus infinity and here we have plus infinity. So we can say that one root is between minus infinity to a and the other root is between b to infinity. So the correct option will be option D and now the second method, method 2 is here we have x minus a into x minus b minus 1 is equal to 0. We have x minus a into x minus b minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if we multiply x minus a and x minus b then we get x square and minus ax minus bx will be minus of a plus b times x and plus ab and here we have minus 1 is equal to 0 and here if we try to find the value of x then x will be minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac by 2a. So minus b will be a plus b plus minus root under b square that will be a plus b square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is ab minus 1 
by 2a and a is 1 so it will be 2 and now we get x is equal to a plus b plus minus root under a square plus b square and plus 2ab minus 4ab will be minus 2ab and minus 4 into minus 1 will be plus 4 by 2 and now we can get x is equal to a plus b plus minus a square plus b square minus 2ab will be a minus b whole square and we have plus 4 by 2. So from here we can get two value of x. First if we say alpha then it will be a plus b minus root under a minus b whole square plus 4 by 2 and second if we say beta then it will be a plus b plus root under a minus b whole square plus 4 by 2 and now if we focus on root under a minus b whole square plus 4 then we can say that a minus b whole square plus 4 must be greater than a minus b whole square and if we take root both side then we can say that root under a minus b whole square plus 4 must be greater than root under a minus b whole square and root under a minus b whole square is equal to mod of a minus b and we know that b is greater than a so mod of a minus b will be b minus a and now alpha is a plus b minus root under a minus b whole square plus 4 by 2 and we know that root under a minus b whole square plus 4 is greater than b minus a so this whole must be less than a plus b minus b minus a by 2 and now here this b and minus b will get cancelled so we can say that alpha is less than a minus of minus a will be 2a by 2 is a and now we have beta is equal to a plus b plus root under a minus b whole square plus 4 by 2 and we know that root under a minus b whole square plus 4 is greater than b minus a so this whole must be greater than a plus b plus b minus a by 2 and now here this a and minus a will get cancelled and we can say that beta must be greater than b plus b will be 2b by 2 will be b so we know that a is less than b and we get alpha is less than a so alpha is less than a and beta is greater than b so beta is greater than b and alpha will be greater than minus infinity and beta will be less than plus infinity so we can say that alpha is between minus infinity to a and beta is between b to plus infinity so the correct option will be d one root in minus infinity to a and the other in b to infinity